welcome to Pirate Bear Games, and today we're going to do a model review of the Death Trial Terminators. So this is following on from the previous unboxing episode, where we looked at the sprues and a quick overview of the rules for the Death Trial Bodyguard Terminators. So as you can see, I've built these models now. They're, so the models themselves are really detailed. You can see, if bring it closer to the camera here, the wonderful detail all on the on the armor plates, you know, all the little chinks here and there, you know, the sort of weathering effects that have been brought in. And you could use your weathering effects here to, to bring all these out and put rust effects and stuff in here when you painted them. Like this one, the cloak, really detailed the little cloak with all the tears in the bottom here. The um, this one model got a little head dangling from, a, from, his, from his power pack here. Yeah, and this one's got the plague spurt gun on the left hand side, and nothing on the left here. And carrying the, the man reaper itself. And I've modelled all of these with the smoke as well. So these these smoke effects are completely optional. They're in the, on the model where if you didn't attach them, they've just got this little hole here. So you could leave it off and, and it'll look legitimately fine. You don't have to have it on. I know some people really dislike these smoke effects. Um, and there's little flies and mixing it with the snow smoke here as well. So and pick those out. And I think they look okay. I think in this case, I think they look pretty good. Personally, don't like it when when part of the model's hand or something like that is blended into fire. I think that can look a bit odd. And you know, and sometimes when you when you want to paint it up, you know, you might not actually want that 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 effect on there. It's sometimes difficult to convert away from it if you have it. So go on to the other model here. This one's got the death, the plague spirit gauntlet on the left hand, on his, I know on his right hand side, um, and then none on that side. So yeah, so the individual terminators are, are modelled with only one gauntlet. I think the actual um, the, the the sergeant model, which I'll come to in a sec, can be modelled with two. But again, this has got quite a lot of detail. You see the, the little head dangling from from his front there. Yeah, you can see a little tentacle holding onto the grenade at the back. I guess that's a blight grenade or something. But yeah, the, the armor's wonderfully detailed. All these little breaks in the armor and stuff with things poking through. From the hand here, top here, there's a little skull protruding from his shoulder plate with a little tongue hanging out. So it's, um, you, know, you can really go to town on these, picking out all the details. So this one is the, this model here is the sergeant model. So this one's got the, uh, I can say the sergeant model, it can be modelled as a normal terminator as well. So this one's got the, the mouth plate on. Um, yeah, which is which is quite good. But I think really if you had a squad of them, you'd only want one of them in the squad. And you can fill these up to six, six, um, six per unit. So I guess really, you know, just one of those would be good. Well, as I'll show you in a sec, there's a, a couple of spare parts, so you could replace this out for, for a non-sergeant model, or indeed this could be a normal sergeant. This one, the sergeant model, has the, has the option of having two plague spirit gauntlets. This here is a, an optional piece which you can swap out for a second one. And the sort of fan brace part there is actually quite detailed with the three skulls on it. And that's quite nice. So I put that one on here rather than gluing on the second plague spirit. I think if I was to get a second a second unit which I made at some point in the future I would probably I would probably glue the second plague spare on there so then you could feel the you know you could identify the sergeant model easily enough because it's got a different you know a sort of different pose it's got his scythe his man reaper upwards so I think you could um you could get away it's easy to identify the plague the the sort of sergeant of the squad just by the um just by the pose really and you could say this one's got the plague spec going on. So yeah, so no, really detailed models. Um, size comparison wise, I'll just move these two out of the way. So just focusing on this guy, this is a standard um, mini marine, a non primary marine, little Dark Angels dude. And you can see that, you know, they're quite, um, quite substantially bigger than the, the sort of standard, standard marines. Um, it really, really comes up to his chin, really. And then, put that to there. If you compare him to the Primaris, he's still bigger than the Primaris Marine as well. So, he's a good, 
He's slightly taller. He's not massively taller, but obviously he's, he's in cataract Terminator armor, so he is quite a lot bigger, a lot larger. Yeah, so that's the Primaris. And then this is the, the Terminator Librarian. So you can see we're comparing them to a... Oops, let me get them side by side. Comparing them to a standard sort of Terminator. You can see, yeah, he's um, he's bigger than the Terminator model as well. And this one, the whole model's taller because of this thing on the back. But if you compare the heads, his head is just slightly slightly smaller than the... Um, the Death Shroud bodyguard there, really. So yeah, so that's the um, size comparisons. In terms of the sort of spare parts, we get a we get the an, an extra front plate, so you could model the sergeant um, without without that one, and then an extra set of such shoulder shoulder pads. Are the, um, these are the things that fit on fit on underneath there. Uh, underneath this sort of growth thing on the back so yeah and we've got a selection of heads as well so there was four spare heads well, we've got an alternate an alternate side side top there as well so that's for the for this guy i think um no 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 sorry that's for this guy here so that you can model that with a with that with a head with the non sort of serrated chainsaw the edge and the bells as well. So I didn't on on this on this guy here. Hand here is optional and you can swap that out for the for the bells if you wanted to. And um, I opted not to do that. I think if I had another set I would probably I would probably um model it with the with with, with the bells just to distinguish it from this normal guy with that. And then that's the extra plague expert got on it, so that's the one that could that fit on the back there. So yes, they're the not a great amount of spare parts in four heads, which I guess you may be able to use elsewhere on other Terminators. Maybe these are the bits and the bells. I guess you could use on something. Yeah, you make a good little kit bash piece. But these are pretty specific to to um to the kit really. It's kind of part molded Cataphracty armor. I mean, with this you may be able to. I'd have to look at the normal Cataphracty models. You may be able to get this onto a Standard cataphracty model somehow maybe with a bit of green well, a lot of green stuff I'd imagine to try and make that work but there's a possibility I guess but, um yeah maybe the he cowled heads could go on normal cataphracty models maybe fit them in just to give them a bit of, um you know if you're running normal cataphracty terminators with these maybe that would work so yeah they're the spare parts get the other guys in. So yeah, that's the that's the whole kit. Assembly wise, I think they were pretty pretty easy to go together really. It was straightforward, there's nothing particularly you know, nothing particularly difficult about putting them together really. They went together, instructions were fine. Relatively straightforward, easy to build kits really. There's no posability in them at all, really. There's only the you know, they're coming the these fixed poses. You know, things like arm swaps and things like that would be very difficult to do, I think, without heavy conversion work so yeah so i guess if you ran another three and you'd get another two people look like this different heads maybe um be the only thing that would change them maybe you could model the others without smoke to make them a little bit different but yeah, in terms of customizability not a great deal but really realistically speaking you're not going to be running that many of them i don't think in a normal list three on average maybe six at a push i can't see a death shroud heavy army army build really being all too competitive. Maybe if you wanted a themey build, but yeah, it's, even then they're quite expensive models, both in price and in and in points really. So I don't think you're going to be running a whole lot of them. Anyway, that's my model review of the Death Trial Bodyguard um, Terminators. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and if you like the video or any of my other videos, then subscribe it does really help me out a lot. And, building up getting more views on my videos and get more views on the videos in the channel yeah so hope to see you soon and the next few videos hopefully i'll be able to get these painted up at some point soon maybe do a little painting tutorial on them i'm also going to be branching out into some more age of sigma content so hopefully the next couple of videos will be 
Age of Sigma related, and um, we can build from there. Thank you very much, guys. See you soon.